My name is Courtney Rushing, and I teach the Retail Marketing CTE class here at Arcadia High School. We meet every Mondays and Wednesdays from 3.45 to 6 o'clock um, until the students start an internship, and there is an internship component to this class. This class will teach you a lot of real world skills, how to find a job, how to keep that job, how to do sales, marketing, personal finance, balancing your checkbook, paying taxes, all those wonderful adult skills. So we do a big internship portion of this where you'll be placed in a company in Arcadia and work a certain amount of hours for extra credits in the class. It is a 10 credit class. You get all of the experience as a regular employee and, and then they have the opportunity to hire you and you can find a job anywhere that would work as an internship spot as well. If you want to work at a retail, this place will like teach you like how to, be, to prepare yourself for like the interviews and how like you know how the, the workplace actually works and it kind of like just like prepare yourself in the future and like you just you know, you know like um, just learn experience and in the future it's easier for you to get a job and gain experience from it. I'm Mr. DeLuca. I teach stagecraft and advanced stagecraft here at Arcadia High. So the beginning level of stagecraft, we introduce the students to all the different areas of technical theater, from lights to costumes, set construction, safety, light, lighting, and anything else that is an entry level position. And then the advanced class, we build on all of those skills and the students are more of uh, independent and more creative in that class where they can take what they've learned and put it towards any shows in the building. Stagecraft is important for students to take for a multitude of different reasons. Uh, first of all, they're VPA and UC approved, but also it gives them so many different skills that a lot of people are lacking nowadays. So even if they do not go into the entertainment field, they're able to fix something at their house or paint a creative painting, you know, some, anything that gets them involved in, and out of the seat, which is great because we do a lot of hands-on training in this class. The things you can learn of this class in this class, you can also bring it into the real world. And we also have scholarships where we can make it easier for them to get into the college or theater design. So our class is a three-part class for the medical healthcare pathway, and it's really there for anyone that has any interest in um, the medical field or going into any medical field. So we have anyone from nursing to physical therapy to, to MD doctors that want to go into the field, and we teach three classes. Well, I think it teaches you like a lot of um, sort of career practical training, like stuff that sometimes you don't even get taught, um, you know, in the college setting, especially if you go into a different career and stuff that can help you. CPR is a perfect example of that. Like feel like um, you know, should, every household should have someone that's certified in CPR and first aid and things like that. So um, I feel like everyone, like freshmen coming in, that everyone can take something from it. And maybe you don't know if you want to go into the medical field, but you, you've had injuries before, maybe you're curious about that kind of, that kind of field. So I feel like um, students should just try to take the introduction class to see if, they, if it's something they want to pursue, maybe. I've always had a passion for going into the medical field and I thought this would be a great way to step into that. So I think that sports medicine was where I needed to go. My favorite part would be like the hands-on experiences that we have because it's not always lectures or just sitting there watching the teacher talk. We're interacting a lot with other students practicing. It's a great way to learn new skills. It's not a stressor that you have to worry about. Even though it's a little difficult to get the terms and all that, right? You'll still have a fun experience. You'll be able to learn a lot more in the medical field. This here is our anatomage table. This is a great tool that we have for the kids here at Arcadia to have uh, an interactive digital version of the human body that they can dissect and then that they can rotate and that they can zoom in on. Um, so it's much better than looking at um, our skeletons that we have over here uh, that are just, you know, the basic skeleton uh, body. Whereas here we have 
Again, we can go into the cardiovascular system, muscular system, nervous system, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's quite um, interesting though. I mean, we, we can rotate it. It's, again, it's, the interactive part of it is, is amazing. Identifying the structure, uh, the fourth rib, so students can come up here and they can actually come up here and look at what rib it is, one, two, three, four, count and point at it. Again, it's a great tool um, and uh, we are blessed to have this here at uh, Arcadia. I'm Brian Zerla. I teach uh, AP Computer Science here at Arcadia High School through the CTE department. And we have two AP Computer Science classes, uh, Principles and AP Computer Science A. Uh, AP Computer Science A is a pure programming course. It's taught through the Java language. It's probably similar to any first year programming course. Um, teaches things like if statements, loops, variable types ends uh, the year with some difficult sorting routines, uh, where AP CS Principles is about a half of the year programming course taught through the JavaScript language, although it could be taught through any language, including pseudocode. Uh, and the other half of the year teaches things like data transfer, um, how the internet works, end-to-end uh, -end encryption, as well as uh, just like the ethics of computer science and effects um, on the world. I think it changes the way that you think about things uh, and it just might open doors in the sense that I think some students take the course not really knowing but then they end up loving it and maybe even go on to major in it and get a job in it later. My name is Sohana Sani. I'm a junior and I go to Arcadia High School. Uh, so far we've really just learned the basics of coding, but I would recommend it because it's really fun because you make a lot of new friends and also even if you're not thinking of going into computer science, it helps you work on your problem solving and gives you more skills for the future. Hi, I'm Mr. Greep. I'm currently the uh, business management teacher. Well, my class is really interesting, I think, because we cover the whole gamut of how to start a business, how to kind of come up with the idea for your business, how to manage that business, how you're going to finance that business. Um, and we talk about the pros and cons of being your own boss and running your own business. I introduce the idea, everyone wants to be their own boss. So we talk about what it takes to do that. Uh, if you have a special idea or if there's something that interests you or a service, you know, what steps you're going to need to take to start that. Um, and I also bring in outside entrepreneurs and business owners to kind of give the students a realistic picture of what it's going to take and the hours, how you're going to finance it, how you're going to maintain that business, how you're going to gain customers, uh, who's your target market, how are you going to target them, how are you going to advertise. I mean, the entire uh, concept of running your own business and how to be profitable. Basically. My parents and several other of my family members own businesses and I'm kind of interested in running my own business in the future, um, possibly. My favorite part about the class, probably the teacher. Mr. Grip is really nice. He really can teach you about the class and he makes it so it's not always boring. Um, if you do want to go into business, this is a great starting class, especially because um, you can learn the basics of business and also he'll teach you how to run a business, manage it, and like the costs the risks and how to be an entrepreneur in general. The, the beginner classes, they do sort of more like a lot of food safety and stuff like that. And then we do more of the, um, the newer type of techniques. And then my advanced class, the culinary science, they do, I try to do a little bit more advanced stuff with them. So we're going to try to get into some, um, a little bit more fun things. Cooking in general is sort of uh, like a life skill that you should have, especially as they start to move out of their parents' house. I think it'll help them um, not have to eat fast food all the time. They can make food for themselves, make them a little bit more confident in life. They have to be able to manage their time to make sure they get everything done. And then uh, team building, we put them in groups since we only have seven kitchens. So it helps them uh, learn to work with other people. And then like I said, I think everyone should have sort of a basic understanding of cooking. In the end, I think I took this course because it's fun and you know, kind of helps you with time management because everything in the kitchen is timed and you really got to uh, prepare yourself. You know physically and mentally. Well, we've made Mexican food. Um, we made cookies last week. We did a taco bar for the staff. Oh yeah, and now we're making pies, so. And it's like really fun. You get to eat your stuff after. Like everybody loves to eat, so it's. Hi, my name is John Lamb. 
and I'm the engineering, the CT engineering and computer science teacher here at Arcadia High School. I'm glad to be here after 15 years of industry experience in areas such as computer software, computer networking, or hardware networking, as well as cybersecurity topics, and also consulting and working at NASA um, Ames Research Center in Northern California. And I am glad to be here at Arcadia High School. Um, I've been teaching for middle, uh, middle school math. I've been teaching for four or five years. My, this is my first full year of teaching engineering and computer science. We have three classes. The first one is Intro to Engineering Design, in which the class consists of learning 3D modeling and 3D computer-aided design tools, such as Autodesk Fusion 360. And they will be learning how to like model different objects and designing them using different and learning about different properties of those objects. And they can learn basically how to design things well and communicate them and document them in uh, in your notebook. Secondly, the second class is called Principles of Engineering. This is mainly to expose them to topics that they'll be exposed to in college engineering class, such as um, mecha mechanisms um, like pulleys or first class pulleys, um, levers, um, and different rotational devices like torque and work. And um, also they'll be learning about energy, um, such as renewable energy and non-renewable energy, and as well as statics. Um, which we're covering right now in the course, which consists of like free body diagrams, physics properties basically, and trusses, how to collect, um, calculate vectors on um, forces on trusses, bridges essentially, and then materials and uh, kinematics, as well as pneumatics. I'm Mrs. Tedford. I've been teaching here for 30 years, and I teach all the beginning and intermediate classes. And I'm Ms. Orlowski. I am the Orcasis Director, and this is my sixth year as the Orcasis Director, and I also work as the CTE Coordinator. We teach them the skills that they need to succeed outside of the classroom. Um, and so our classes have curriculum that is very well developed and teaches a wide variety of skills and genres so students aren't focusing primarily on one style like ballet. They're getting jazz technique, they're getting contemporary. Um, in our more advanced classes they're getting choreography and composition. So they're learning things that they would see at a college level course and they're doing it in high school. Um, and so I think that's really important for students because they're able to get a wide variety of knowledge and experience from our courses. Well, this is a really big school and it's easy to feel lost. So on top of all the things Ms. Orlovsky mentioned, I also think that this is a really great home away from home. And that doesn't mean per se that this is a safe space where kids can do anything. It's uh, hopefully that for kids, but more than that, it's also a challenging space. So it allows you to stretch and grow and work together and find a space where you have camaraderie with fellow students that you may not have in other coursework. Um, so Orcasis is actually currently working and preparing for their spring production. Um, the Orcasis specifically um, does two main productions throughout the year. We have our charity show, which happens in the fall, and then our spring production, which is in April. That is kind of like our big showcase of the year. Um, the, the show is comprised of about, this year, 23 pieces, and those pieces um, include student choreographed pieces as well as guest choreographer pieces. My name's me so and I'm a junior. Like the biggest thing I've seen and especially now that I'm an orchestrist is that a lot of things about body language and how you present it so and I've also seen like there's so many ways to express your emotions like not just through your words but through your body language, through music and all those things like all collaborate together to show how someone feels or, like a message they want to portray so I feel like that's all really important. <laughs> Uh, we learn how to use tools such as Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and we learn uh, photo editing and some of the things we, we've created are um, cultural festival posters, uh, concert posters, uh, posters for various organizations around the campus and right now we're working on uh, going outside of the campus to create posters for organizations in the community. In graphic design I learned how to use many Adobe products and how to use Photoshop to create logos and designs. 
the most rewarding thing about graphic design is how I'm able to gain a new appreciation for um, all the design and art elements that go, go on in, in our modern world with the use of computers. Future students can expect a very project based course. They are really allowed a lot of freedom but by Ms. Moo to express their creativity and they gain a lot of uh, uh, life lessons and experience through Ms. Moo always talking about uh, the, the, the new things uh, going on in the world, in the industry and always giving a advice for, for college and how to navigate uh, post, post college life, which I think a lot of courses um, don't really focus on. But uh, the degree of freedom and, and, be, and being able to work with computers to create art, I think is a really unique environment for students to be able to experience. Uh, in my classes, students get to work on uh, small and large scale video projects. In my beginning class, we're mostly in our beautiful four camera studio here on campus. My intermediate course tends to get outside of the studio and work on short films. Um, and then my advanced course, Apache News, produces the weekly news show, Apache News, and also weekly sports live streams, special events. Um, we cover a lot of real events in that class. My favorite part about being in a video production course or teaching it um, is this the amazing projects that we get to we get to be a part of and the coolest thing that we get to do in my program is that we get to make real stuff we make a real new show for the student body of Arcadia High School um, we go and live stream real sporting events for uh, people at home and people all across the country who get to tune in and see um, their family members their students their grandchild um, get to be a part of something cool on campus and we get to be there uh, and help share that with the community. Hello, my name is Elijah Han Lu and I'm a member of APN. All right, APN has a really, really nice studio. Like we have cameras, we have like teleprompters, we have everything that you would actually use in a real news studio. Um, our equipment room is just filled to the brim with items and stuff that we can use every day. I think there's just a lot of like small learning experiences about little things in video production. Like, um, I learned the basics of like Adobe Premiere. I learned how to set up cameras. I learned how to set exposures and stuff like that.